So today uh, we are going to continue our linked list series and uh, today we are going to talk about linked list implementation. Alright, so um, in this video we are going to tell you like how a uh, linked list is created and how you can traverse So this is going to be the first node, this is going to be the second node, and this is going to be the third node. Alright. Um, and uh, let's see, the data of the first node is 10, data of the second node is 20, and data of the third node is 30. The pointer of the first element is going to point towards the second element, and second element is going to be going to point towards the third element. And third element pointer is going to point towards the null. N stands for null. This means the end of this linked list. And like see, a linked list contains two things: data and address and such to form such data type we are going to use a structure all right like you have we read about structures in uh, basic c++ okay now let's begin the code first of all let's include our header file okay and then so i'm going to make a struct Node. Right. It is going to contain a data here, right? And it is going to contain node star. This is an interesting thing. See, data type of next is node, which is the same as uh, the structure. So, such structures are called set. When shear structures. See what is next. Next is a pointer and it is going to point towards what? Towards another node. So the data type of this should be a uh, node. Now uh, we are going to have this thing. This is what? Um, this is constructor of a node. Right. So data is equal to x. Next is node. All right. So this is a structure. Okay. Now let's make our main function here. Oh, let me tell before making the main function. Let me tell you the first element of every linked list is called head. All right. This is an important thing. And then most of the question that is just written that about question regarding head. So you, may, you must know like what head is. It is always the first element of uh, any language. Now how to make a node. So you write node star name of the element or name of the like the yeah first element basically and write new node and see this thing basically constructor type so data of head is right now x 10 and the its pointer is pointing towards uh, null okay now i can write head next is equal to new 
upload writing so this means that first of all let's uh, let me tell you like what happened here we formed a node called head all right and head was pointing towards what null all right this happened in this line we made a new node head with data 10 and uh, since we haven't passed any you know uh, the point we haven't pointed the pointer towards anything so it's next is null that's why now um, okay yes here yeah. yeah so yeah so this is what is written here now what i did is like head next meaning next is what head pointer so head pointer is now pointed towards a node a new node whose uh, data type is 20 and whose pointer is now null right so what happened here is we made another uh, node 20 pointing towards null we also did that pointer of a first element head points toward this element Now, now what I'm going to do is simply load uh, head next next we go to new node thirty. What I did here is head next next is going to point towards a new element thirty. And this thing gets removed, and the default constructor point is given. Yeah. Alright. So this is the link that we have formed here. Okay. So um, yeah, this was what was needed here. <coughs> Ten should point towards twenty, twenty should point towards thirty, and thirty point should point towards null. This is happening. Ten should point towards. 20, 20 is pointing towards 30 and 30 is pointing towards yeah. all right now um, you might be wondering like how to uh, traverse this link list right so let's just try to display this link list so that you can like have a have an idea like how to traverse a link list let's write a function display and what we are going to do is we are going to to pass head uh, we are going to write called display <coughs> since we are returning uh, like we are passing a uh, pointer head which is here right. now what I am going to do is I am just simply saying while okay. while Head is not equal to null. What we are going to do? We are going to simply print head head data. Um, okay. See, when we uh, pass a pointer, we are actually passing the original pointer, not the reference. So, so. To like not change the head, what we are going to do, we are going to have a load start curl equal to head. Right. So that our original head don't change. We have while curl is not equal to null. See out curl data in the um, see out. And uh, simply do this. Right. So what is happening here is cur is at this point in the beginning. What happened is that we printed 10. Good. Then what we do is that cur is now shifted to cur next. That means cur is shifted here. 
right? From there, curl has been shifted to here. And after this, what is happening? That after having curl here, what's going to happen is we are again going to remove this thing. We have printed 20 and now curl is pointing here. Again, this will print and now curl will point here. And now we have added a condition, right? Right? Yeah, my curl is not equal to myself since curl is null. We have counted the loop. So, yeah, that is the whole code here. Let's try and run this thing. Let's hope this thing runs without any fault. Yeah, 10, 20, 30. This is the required code here. Alright. So, okay. So, in this video, what we did, we talked about how to implement a simple linked list and how to traverse a simple singing linked list. In the future videos, I am going to tell you how to add a specific number in a linked list and how to can delete a specific number in a linked list. So, yep, yeah, that was it for this video and see you later. Thank you.